some crazy ball geese. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful August afternoon. Yes, it's currently Thursday. It's Thursday here in the UK, and I am a busy bee trying to get organised for the holiday because we're going away on Saturday. So lots of washing and all that boring stuff anyway so today's video i have an unboxing for yourselves yes and this one i purchased out my own money many moons ago um a few weeks ago now from timu and they got put to one side and i forgot all about them until recently because of my hospital visit but anyway so we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven canvases for me to show you today. Okay, first and foremost, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. Okay, and please don't forget to hit the notification bell and it will notify you of my future video uploads yes so let me just bring you a bit there I'll just lift you a bit higher there we go so first before I start my unboxing I'm gonna actually show you a completion because I completed one for my last Timu haul this morning and I thought I'd share it with you. So, there we go, it's the gorgeous hanging lotus flower. Lotus? Lotus, yeah. There we go, I think it's beautiful. lovely it's a hanging wall pendant obviously let me just grab my book i think it had 11 colors this one let me see you have to excuse the background noise guys because kids are at home and all that good stuff right this one had 11 colors Three specials, eight crystal rhinestones, this one. Zoom you up now. It was gorgeous. It was great fun to do. Quick and easy. And it will also be going out in my garden. Along with many of my others as well. Lovely. We had quite a few of the larger rhinestones left over. And the thing I like about this is the texture of the lines here. You can actually feel a difference. It's really unusual. So yes, very nice, very pretty. I haven't sealed it yet. And this one is double sided as well. Oh, hang on. This one's double sided. So, yeah, lovely. I think it turned out beautiful. Really pleased with that. This one, geez, it was a bargain. I think it was only like a couple of pounds. Let me see. £2.24 I paid for this one. £2.24 pence, $3.75. Okay? Lovely. And it's the thick acrylic as well. Yeah, I really like that. I think it's very, very pretty. Right, let's get straight on to the unboxing. Let me put this to one side. I'm going to seal that one overnight. Right, I'm back again now, guys. So, going to get started. Okay, right. 
while I've got five minutes peace. Literally five minutes. <laughs> it's getting that time of year, guys, where towards the end of summer, the kids start driving you a bit, a bit crazy, you know? But never mind, never mind. Right. So, this one is a partial. 30 by 30 you know I love my partials and it's of the main man of my life or the main person in my life Jesus there we go yes lovely 30 by 30 it has symbols are numerical up to number eight and then alphabetical eight ten twelve fourteen hang on eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen sixteen different colors wow you know they really go into town with the partials at the moment being very generous with their their colours. Standard tool kit, there we go, is your green boat, your pink wax and your single placer pink pen. That's all you need to diamond paint, okay? Now because it's a partial it does take a bit longer to flatten. Okay. very stiff canvas this one very stiff do you know what I'm just going to move this hang on a second because this is annoying me now we just use my tablecloth tonight there we go so this is the gorgeous picture and it's a stained glass image yeah and it's only sticky where we need to diamond paint and it's got that beautiful sort of like Aztec pattern around the outside of the diamond painting just give it a slight stretch there we go Oh, it's beautiful isn't it really nice I really like that one so we've got some gorgeous white flowers around the outside I think the reason why they use a lot of white flowers in religious images is because it signifies purity the white colour so yeah and I think the purple is a as a, a morning color so like a sad color so yeah very nice very nice i like that there's quite a lot of diamond paints with diamond paint in all the flowers and the green leaves diamond and diamond painting a little bit of the edge here and at the top but not the sides and his hair his clothes and some around his head as well very nice I like that right always double check your canvas code as well guys I'm just going to have a quick look at the diamonds because we've got a lot to get through so oh wow so we have got five specials on this one five specials yes it's a very clear drill area as well actually what am I doing that I can just zoom you up very nice and clear
There we go. Lovely. Right, so the diamonds are a clear. A golden yellow dark well no a light I don't know sort of like a we just say brown there we go an emerald green a purple another emerald green there another lilac gorgeous sort of like a coral colour another brown another blue sort of like a greyish tone there and then we've got our special so we've got a large teardrop with an AB coating on a clear. Lovely. Then we've got some oval shaped diamonds here. If I can get them to turn over. No, they're not forming for me here today. So there they are in there. In a dark emerald green. Lovely. Okay. We've got some teeny tiny marquees in a purple and we've got some hot pinks with the AB coating on again in a medium sized rhinestone and then a large golden yellow rhinestone. Lovely. Very nice. Right, let me pause you. I'll get the next one out. Right, next one now is a Christmas themed one uh, can't find the opening here there it is now I'm going to link as many of these in the video description box as I can if they're out of stock I won't be able to provide the link um, and I'll let you know the prices that I paid for them at the end of the video but prices vary with uh, Timu and yes they send you coupons special offers discounts all that so probably prices vary yeah so as you can see it's the gorgeous Mr Santa Claus on just one reindeer here I'm presuming it's Rudolph because he's got a red nose standard tool kit where are they going? I'm just going to find them on the floor because I sent them off to Gemma's diamond painting. Diamond painting with gems, sorry. She's a, a UK based YouTuber that does spare ideas. So go check her out and tell her Crazy Borgie sent you because she does some wonderful ideas to do different projects with your spare diamonds yes and with your green trays and your pink pens and all that good stuff so another 30 by 30 partial oh santa's face is a bit mm, i'm wondering if this is another ai image because i think with the ai images they sort of struggle with details like hands eyes so i'm trying let me just check jesus's hand he's got yeah four fingers one thumb we're good and he only has two eyes because <laughs> i could tell you there's been some ones you know that look a bit demonic that i've had that are religious ones so It's a beautiful image and Santa's face isn't a hundred percent clear if I'm honest with you 
but I'm still going to keep it and do it because I do like the overall image it's just a bit blurry on his eyes I'm not sure if he's meant to be winking or not really I don't know but anyway he's got 12 colors and two legends either side so Rudolph is nice and clear and the symbols are clear the symbols are wow I've never seen symbols like that before so the symbols are numerical up to number seven and then we hop in to um, uh, letters and yeah hmm they're sort of like written in f in flowers I'll show you what I mean in a minute so there we can see We've got some in the letters and then it sort of hops into these two flowers with the teeny tiny letters in the top petal and your miracle hmm, strange but as for Santa's face I think he's got two chipmunks on the back here as well are they chipmunks or maybe they're the other reindeers or maybe they're toys I don't know I don't know I'm just guessing here so his eyes are a bit mm, you see can't quite make out this one that one is very pixelated and for partial because we're only diamond painting some of the painting it should be crystal clear but I do like this image very much so it doesn't bother me really you could just say he's winking so just getting the diamonds out the symbols with the flowers is because we've got some tiny flowers to go on there okay so we have a clear a brown a light red there a black that's like a really dark sort of like wine red there really dark but actually no it looks a bit purple purpley red hmm very dark purpley red there we go another dark brown another very dark purple these are the specials now so that is the first little flower and I like these because they've got the backing on so you won't be able to see the symbol through it and then we've got pink flower we've got red flower and then we've got a clear AB coated medium rhinestone and we've got a small is that a dome? no it's like a, a really small, well, the next size up rhinestone there. So it's slightly bigger than the usual size in red. A medium rhinestone, there we go. And then we've got a clear AB coated marquee really see the sparkle lovely whoops right let me get the next one out guys my next one now I think they're all partials 
apart from one okay and they are all 30 by 30s right so this is a cute little teapot house yes in a partial toolkit there okay now this one has 11 colors once again symbols are numerical and then alphabetical yeah I like to try and pull the canvas taut when I'm lifting up the uh, just because I feel like it encourages it to lie flat. them on a low heat on the back of the canvas but I personally do not like doing that because I just I've not very had very good uh, experiences with it let's just say that I always end up getting frust more frustrated than if I just left it underneath some heavy canvases so I just don't bother now I just leave it to flatten naturally which I think personally is the best way okay so the drill area is nice and clear on this one cute little gorgeous teapot house I had a teapot house when I was a little girl it's a great big yellow one and I absolutely loved it And we've got some lovely mushrooms as well just to give it like the fairy tale sort of effect yes very cute very cute so five specials on this one again it's very generous very generous so we've got a green AB coated marquee we've got a turquoise blue marquee we've got a red smooth marquee there got some gold domes a yellow marquee lovely a red rhinestone gorgeous grass green there bag of clear hot pink there a blue and a golden yellow lovely right let me pop this one away guys okay next one now This one, I think, is the reason why why I placed this order. There we go. So, if you remember in my last Amazon. Timu haul sorry I had one of these in yellow and I said there was a red one that I really liked and that's why this order happens yes so standard tool kit is in all of them actually well it's in that one this is a gorgeous blue background as well I'm loving I do love partials that have 
a colourful background as well. There was a time when they only used to be on like white backgrounds but I'm pleased to say they've changed all that now. Now they seem to to be on colourful backgrounds. So we've only got six colours on this one and the symbols are two numbers and then the rest are letters. Adhesive is good and it's only where it needs to be. So that's good. The partials do take a little bit longer to go flatter, flattened because the glue isn't everywhere, it's only on the places that you're diamond painting. So there we go. Some of some of this is wrinkling now there. So there we go, gorgeous red rose there. Lovely. KH172. Look at these gorgeous diamonds. Red is my favourite colour guys so Anything with red in, I always tend to sway towards. So this one has four specials and then three crystal rhinestones. Whoa, that's too near. Hang on a second. Nice clear drill area there. Don't have a fun now. Very nice. Got a lot of specials on this one. Even one right in the centre of the rose. Lovely. Right. We've got a red pearl teardrop there with the AB coating we've got a blue pearl teardrop with the AB coating we've got a large yellow rhinestone and then some large red domes some red and then golden yellow Next one now, I suggest grabbing yourselves a coffee or a drink actually because this is going to be a longer video today. So there's our standard tool kit, it's our diamonds. And there she is. Isn't this magnificent? I love it. Look. Oh, just look at her. She's beautiful, isn't she? Gorgeous tiger there. So lovely. And because it's on a dark background, it will really make it, it pop out with all those fabulous diamonds really pretty with all these gorgeous flowers around it. It looks a bit like the Northern Lights in the background as well. Absolutely stunning, it really is. 
11 colours. Did I say that already? I can't remember. Just gonna flatten it. And again, it's got that Aztec sort of background. Um, not background, border. I don't think any of these have come with crystal codes. Let me just check. No, apart from the Santa, that one came with crystal codes on the legend. But I don't collect my crystals, to be honest with you. Um, I do so many of these that I could diamond paint the whole street, guys, seriously. So I do have like a little selection of spares, but most of them, I only keep the special shapes now. So yes, isn't she gorgeous? Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I'm just loving all the background as well. Very nice. I saw this one and I just had to have it. Symbols are numerical and alphabetical. And even though it's a partial, there is quite a lot to diamond paint on this because you're diamond painting all of the tiger apart from her eyes and her nose a bit and quite a lot of the flowers in the background are diamond painted too and it's just the sky really that isn't diamond painted ZH008 yes. Five specials again on this one. Wow, they're really generous with the specials. Okay, right. So we've got a blue turquoise marquee. A hot pink marquee there. Large red, uh, red, large gold dome, a medium sized clear rhinestone, and then we've got a golden yellow marquee. We've got a black. Clear, emerald green, hot pink, another blue, and a bag of golden yellow. Lovely. Just wondering where the black is going to go, number eight. Mm. I would have, no, number six, yes, I was going to say, I would have thought it gone here, there, it's going to go on the stripes in the tiger, yeah, and then the marquees are going to be used for the petals, Right, hold on a second, guys. Okay, next one now. This one was the cheapest one here. And I'll let you know at the end of the video how much I paid for this, as well as the others, of course. But this was the bargain one, yes. So it's another colourful rose. I love my roses. 
standard tool kit and this one has 10 colours and it's 30 by 30 centimetres and it says the inner side size is 25 by 25 okay I'll just stretch this This one doesn't want to behave today. Let's check. Yeah, adhesive is good and it's only where, where we're diamond painting. So there we go, gorgeous rose. Very nice. Lovely clear symbols on the drill area. Symbols are numerical and then just two, two letters. I love colourful, anything with colour. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yes, please, I have to have that one. I can always make room for another rose in my life. There we go. Right. So this one I think has just three specials. Let's have a look. Just three specials on this one and the rest are crystals. Okay, right. So we have a bag of golden yellow, a bag of clear, another golden yellow, a hot pink, a lilac, blue, another blue and then our specials is a clear AB coated teardrop there with the facets. We've got a golden yellow marquee and then a smooth marquee in the blue. Okay, let me pop this one away and we get the next one out, the last one out even. Okay, last one now is the full drill, it's the 30 by 30 full drill. This one, I'm pretty sure I thought it was a partial when I ordered it because it's not one that I would have gravitated towards if I'd have realised it was a full drill. Purely because of the colour, the colour palette, guys. Don't really like doing dark colours. And... The size I think is too small for this particular image. Yeah, his face is not going to come out clear at all. Oh, okay, so this is a typical reason why if you're going to do faces, 
it's better to go for one that is not so busy in the background and one that is the main focus is the face and not anything else because then you'll have a good picture no matter what the size but if you have one like this with a lot going on in the background it's going to be difficult to see what the main focus of the picture is which is Jesus and I mean I can see him it looks better through the camera than what it does to the naked eye but yeah unfortunately this is not one that I will be doing anytime soon it will probably go in my bag to be given away just purely because I don't like the colours I don't like greys, blues and and all them dark sort of winter colours I like bright colourful colours adhesive is really good though really good and there's a real sparkle in the canvas as well so a little disappointed with this one but if I do see it in a partial I will get a partial because for this sort of image it really needs to be larger if it's a full drill or partial okay standard toolkit so the colour scheme yeah it's just not colours that I would gravitate towards at all 16 colours on this one and the symbols are all letters the drill area is really clear yeah so these colours you know they just put me off <laughs> you'll see why in a minute hang on so it's a nice clear drill area it's just the picture is not going to come out the clearest there we go that's the thumbnail you can barely see the thumbnail really There's just a bit too much going on. Okay. And these are the colours coming in now. So it's a round acrylic diamond. And it's all greys. Lots of grey. Dark navy there. do not like this colour palette guys yeah so it's all just those sorts of colours really if you like grey this is the one for you I mean that's like a bluish grey there but as you can see it's just all grey grey and dark blue and a couple of browns thrown in as well so yeah this one's gonna go in my pile to be given away yeah right hold on one second and I'll get the prices for you right so we we'll start off with this one let me look at the code here right this one I paid £2.93 pence for three dollars 86 cents so not the end of the world for me really okay. so this gorgeous rose partial rose 30 by 30 i paid ah this is the one this is the bargain one i paid one p for this one p guys how can you resist you can't resist if someone says i'll give you a diamond painting for a penny 
1p lovely for a special partial excellent love it right next one this one my page ZZH ah, here we go I always write tigers down as lions for some reason don't know why this one was £3.21 $4.23 this next one Sorry about that whispering, guys. That was my daughter. Oh, you know, why is it whenever I'm recording, they just have to speak to you there and then. It's a matter of life and death, honestly. <laughs> right. 30 by 30 flour. £2.93. $3.86 for this one. Gorgeous mushroom house, mushroom house, teapot house even. Um, Three pound nineteen pence, four dollars twenty cent. Santa. Three pound thirty five pence, four dollars forty one cents. And last but not least, Jesus, he was three pound ninety eight pence, four five dollars twenty four cents. There you go. So that is my haul for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking with me if you stay to the end. As usual, I'm going to link all of these down below so you can hop onto Timu and purchase them if they are still available. Right. Thank you so much. Please give me a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments section which one is your favourite. I think... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this top one. I think he's my favourite so far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm torn between this one and the colourful rose. Because that was only a penny. <laughs> so, anyway. Take care. God bless. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.